Hello everybody and welcome to a weekend vlog. I'm starting it off walking home from the mall. Today we're going to be celebrating two of my cousin's birthdays. So just came to get them some gift cards from the old Bath and Body Works because they still use that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to start off the vlog because when I get back to my house, I'm going to hop in the car and actually take off. So I don't want to drive and be on the phone, but uh, yeah. I'm going to be vlogging this entire weekend because it's going to be a weekend with family and we're going to be having some fun, chilling. My family is a riot, so it should be a really great video for you guys. Welcome to a weekend vlog. As soon as I get home, I'm going to get me a nice cool glass of water because it's hot as the dickens out here and then hop on the road to LA. So uh, let's go. Still got a little ways to go for my walk, but... I was just thinking like I'm already seeing like a huge saturation of fall content like on social media and it's just a trip to see it when it's so hot out still and you know even I'm bringing you guys fall content already but it's just a trip how like I don't know time is like rushed these days like it's just I'm already seeing Halloween stuff in the stores and I don't know like <laughs> what are we doing y'all what are we doing I was just thinking about that I'm like I don't know what's going on but um yeah if i bring y'all fall content don't get mad i'm just trying to stay in the rat race y'all for real okay don't get mad at me <laughs> so almost like you feel like if you don't start doing it in august like you're late you know and it's so weird that things are like that Ooh, my eyes are watering it's so hot out here y'all but it's so weird that it's like that that you feel like you're running late if you don't start in like august <sighs> anyway y'all expect some fall content coming up okay because <laughs> I got to stay in the game y'all but yeah i just was on um instagram right now and i'm like people posted all these uh, fall pictures and fall outfits and it's like 110 degrees out here <laughs> like shoot i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready so but yeah you probably will see like fall home decor content and maybe some fall transition videos for me but ooh, we y'all just don't get upset with me. Don't start leaving me these comments like, girl, it's still 90 degrees. It's still 90 degrees out here. <laughs> Look at the fruit tower I made. It's so pretty. I did that. <laughs> Look at one of the birthday girls still working. She ain't even got to put on her stuff yet. She'll be cute in a minute. Say hi to the camera cousins. Look at my beautiful cousin Ayana, my beautiful cousin Georgette. They go my goddaughter. Say hi, baby. Hi. Love my girl. Let's see who else is around. Hello everybody, welcome to another day on the vlog. Today is Sunday, so you know it's self-care and relaxation Sunday. You guys, I stayed out last night until about one. 
and I'm tired but I slept in it's 11 almost 12 now and I just got up maybe like 45 minutes ago took my shower and now I'm just about to do some treatments on my face I'm gonna be cooking a lovely dinner because that's what I love to do on Sundays I gotta cook me like a luxurious rich delicious dinner with like usually a side salad or some veggies on the side but today I'm making something so yummy I'll tell you guys about it in a minute but yeah I'm just doing my self-care right now I try to do three things every Sunday in the realm of self-care so sometimes I'll do a deep conditioning on my hair sometimes I'll do a mask sometimes I'll use my little electrolysis machine that I got from Nordstrom on my face Sometimes I will, you know, do some type of exfoliation thing or something. But I just try to do something every Sunday. Three things that relate to, like, self-care. Just so I can feel like I'm pampering myself at least one day of the week. It's important to do that. But, yeah, right now I'm just using my little ice roller. And if my voice is cracking, it's because I'm going over my throat. But I'm using my little ice roller that I keep in the freezer. I got this from Amazon. It's pretty cool. And I just keep it in the freezer inside of a Ziploc bag to, so it won't get contaminated. And it freezes, the little roller freezes, and so you can just rub it on your face. And I find this so relaxing. Um, I use it, you know, to, of course to tighten up my skin, close my pores and things like that. But I also use it for relaxation and stress relief. So sometimes I'll just take it and just rub it across my chest, my back. This thing is amazing. And if you're hot, like if you get out of the shower, and you find that you're struggling to cool down this thing is amazing like it really helps you to cool down a lot faster so I love this thing but yeah I'm doing that and now I'm gonna be doing a face mask before I run out to the grocery store to get my ingredients this is the Versed instant resurfacing mask and this is the one that's supposed to give you like that mirror skin that you've seen on TikTok and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, it's like a three minute mask so you wash it off after three minutes or so and this is what it looks like inside the jar it's kind of like yellow and jelly like so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a good amount of that onto my skin because I feel like my skin is like crying out for help <laughs> I haven't been doing anything crazy to it but I have been wearing makeup a lot and so I think my skin is like help help me <laughs> Because I'm starting to get little bumps and little signs of irritation and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to leave it on for probably about five or six minutes versus three. I'm putting on a nice thick layer. You guys can see how that goes on. Nice and thick. So I'm going to let that sit on here for a while because I really feel like my skin needs jesus it needs jesus is what it needs okay we all need a little more jesus but yeah i'm gonna rub that in and then i'm gonna go wash that off and get dressed i'm probably not gonna do any makeup today so you guys are gonna get a makeup free day for these few little clips of the day because you know self-care sundays like i really do not be trying to like go in with the makeup unless i'm going out somewhere you know then of course i'm gonna jazz it up but all right that's in i'm gonna let that sit on my skin and yeah i guess while that sits i can take you guys into the kitchen and show you what i'm planning to cook and then i'll wash this off throw on my clothes show you what i'm wearing and then we'll run out to the grocery store so let me take you guys into the kitchen so real quick i wanted to show you the ingredients and what i'm going to be making i don't have all of the ingredients yet i got to run to the store and get the stuff to make my salad and a couple of other things but i have most of it i wanted to use my little dutch ovens that i picked up from target a while back these are from the hearth and hand magnolia collection so i'm going to use those to make um, shrimp and crab mac and cheeses so i got my elbow macaroni here i got the large elbows i have some truffle oil i want to add some truffle flavor to the mac and cheese I also have some alfredo sauce here and I never buy the expensive alfredo sauce I always get whatever's on sale because I doctor it up so much that it's gonna taste amazing anyway so I never get like the crazy expensive alfredo I just get whatever's on sale so I have two of these classical alfredos and I'll add fresh garlic garlic salt parsley and things like that to it to kind of doctor it up got my parsley fresh flat leaf organic parsley here got some panko breading for the topping 
thickening of each mac and cheese and then of course I have my lump crab meat and I just decided to go for this canister of it instead of like buying crabs which are crazy expensive so I'm gonna have that in there and then I have some extra large jumbo shrimp that I'm gonna add and cut those up inside of the mac and cheese so I'm gonna run to the store to get my salad ingredients and like I said I'm also gonna be probably doing some other running around but um, yeah that's the ingredients that's what we're gonna be having we're gonna be having shrimp and crab mac and cheese in little individual Dutch ovens and we're gonna have a side salad probably a Caesar salad to go with it okay guys so I'm getting ready to head out to the grocery store I just wanted to show you my OOTD real quick I threw on something super simple H&M t-shirt Nike jogger shorts and I just have on some little slides from Shein. Super simple outfit. I'm gonna be carrying this little bag from Shein to kind of match my outfit. And I got my little Forever 21 shades right here. So that's the look, y'all. We uber casual today. It's Sunday, it's, you know, self-care Sunday. So yeah, I'm just running to TJ Maxx because I need to pick up like a flask or a jar or something to put my used grease in. Um, I used the other one that I have, so I need another one now. And then I'm gonna run to the grocery store just to grab a couple of things. So yeah, we are ready to roll out. Comfy, cute, casual. Let's go, y'all. Let's hit the stove. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I am back from TJ Maxx and per usual, I couldn't just go and get what I was going to get. I always end up spending like $100 or more on TJ Maxx. But anyway, I found some really good stuff while I was there as always. TJ Maxx is just the bomb. But I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I found. So mini TJ Maxx haul right here, mini TJ Maxx home haul or kitchen haul. But the first thing I found are these really cute glass containers and they have like a bamboo lid. And it says on here that they're freezer safe, BPA free, eco-friendly, versatile to use, dishwasher safe, oven safe, and microwave safe. So these are really nice. They were $12.99 and they come in a set of three and they're actually like um, different sizes. So the top one is smaller and then a medium and then a larger one at the bottom. So really cute little glass set of containers. I also picked up another um, basting brush. So it's like a little bamboo basting brush. This was only $2.99. Need that because I love to cook rotisserie chickens. I also found this really cute set of whisks. It's a four piece and look, it has these cute little tiny whisks. Look at those. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So I picked that up. That was $3.99. Really good deal for that set of four whisks. I also got this herb ball for like soups and stuff like that, you know, cause soup season is quickly approaching, you know, and I have some recipe videos coming for y'all too. But I picked this up and I think this is really cool because if you're making like a soup or a soup base or a broth base, you can put all your herbs in there and then cook it inside of the broth and you don't have to worry about them getting all into your soup. So I thought that was super cute and that was $2.99. I also got this set of strainers mini strainers it comes with a set of three so it has a little tiny one a medium one and a bigger one at the back um, this is really great and i'm getting ready to strain out some cooking oil that i use you know when you deep fry stuff and you need to like strain the oil because i reuse oil like 
Unless I'm frying something really stinky or weird, I reuse oil, honey. You know, sue me, okay? Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I got those to strain out the oil that I need to save. I also got a container to store the oil. And this is actually the only thing I went there to get, y'all. This is all I was supposed to be getting, not all this stuff. But um, this was $5.99 and it's an airtight like jar. And I'm just gonna put the oil in, in this, so really cute. Um, I also found some cloth napkins in fall colors. So I had to get these because, you know, your girl's getting ready to move. And when I get out of this apartment, it's gonna be some heavy, heavy entertaining going on in my place. Like, I'm super excited. I have envisioned it. I have saw it. I've manifested it so many times in my life. And so I just can't wait to be living the life where I can entertain in a nice home. So I'm excited about that. So Honey, we already preparing, okay? But I picked up these napkins. They were $12.99 each. They're in sets of eight. I got them in this beautiful olive green. I also got them in this yellow color, like a marigold color. And I got them in this burnt orange color. So really pretty fall colors for the table napkins at TJ Maxx. If you're looking for some nice table napkins for Thanksgiving, the holidays that are coming up and everything, go to TJ Maxx. They have really good ones. The last thing I got is this Kinder's Master Saw. I love Kinder's. Their seasonings are really, really good and they're not too salty. I do not like my food over seasoned. So I love Kinder's and so I picked up their big thing of garlic salt. This was only $7.99. So it's a good price. It's about the same price on Amazon. So nice big thing of garlic salt from Kinder's. So yeah, I'll be using that when I start making my rotisserie chickens and all my recipes and stuff. So is that everything? Yeah, that's everything I got from TJ Maxx. Spent about $100. And um, yeah, I'm happy with the stuff I got. I mean, TJ Maxx, it's, my, it's like my weakness. That's like my weakness. But yeah, right now I'm getting ready to just relax for a little while, make me a little cocktail, and just chill for a little bit. I'm reading a really good book. I'll share it with you guys in a minute because I think it's worth sharing. I think all of you should get it and read it. So I'll share that with you all and um, yeah, make me a little cocktail. I did drink yesterday, but I didn't go overboard. Y'all yeah, done took my shoes off and everything. <laughs> I didn't go overboard, I never do when I drink because um, driving is part of my job <laughs> and law enforcement is part of my job. So when I drink or go out, I'm just really careful. Like I'm the kind of person, like if I even feel a little like I can, leave my car i'll uber home and come back and get it tomorrow like I, I cannot play those games with my license like i can't play those games and if you work in any field where you drive even if you're an uber then you feel me 100 percent. if you work in any job where you depend on your driver's license for your job you should never take a risk with your license that's the dumbest thing you can do because your job can find out and then boom what you gonna do what you gonna do so I'm always careful. You know, I like to have me a little drink. I like to feel good too. But at the same time, I'd rather do that at home than when I'm out. So I usually just give me one little drink and babysit it. That's usually my trick. But now that I'm home today, cocktail time. I'm gonna go make me a cocktail and um, relax, read my book. I haven't turned the TV on once today. I'm so proud of myself because I'm just trying to watch less TV these days. I feel like it's such a waste of time. And I've just doing a lot, been doing a lot more reading lately. A lot more reading. I, I get online here and there too. You know, I do some of my reading online, reading really good articles. I listen to podcasts and stuff like that too. But I've been doing a lot more reading and a lot less TV absorption. So I'm proud of myself for that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, just put all this stuff away, get straightened out, make me a little cocktail, show you guys the book I'm reading. And then we'll get into our meal for tonight. It's so fire and it's so easy and luxurious and rich and naughty and just, uh, I love spoiling myself on Sundays, y'all. But anyway, moving on. Hey you guys, so I thought I would show you my little cocktail recipe real quick. I got my glass right here. I'm first gonna be going in with some ice and I love this flavored ice. I get this at Rouse, which might be called Kroger in your area, but the, orange one is the most powerful one but it does come in like a lemon and a lime flavor but the orange one is where it's at so i'm gonna add a few cubes of that to my glass drop one i'm gonna add a few of those to my glass I'm trying to do this and hold the camera the next thing i'm gonna add are these dried sweetened oranges from trader joe's 
they are so delicious in cocktails you guys they're so so good so i like to add that to kind of just oops there it goes sweeten up my cocktail so i'm going to put two of those in there and then i'm going to go in with sorry y'all covering the camera look i'm struggling but i'm going to go in with this ciroc uh, what is this called summertime citrus um this is really really a delicious ciroc so i'm going to go in with that i like to go in with my alcohol to see how much i'm pouring in and i think that's about enough you know that's a nice little kick right there <laughs> but not too much and then i'm going to go in with this ocean spray cran mango juice this is so delicious and it's so refreshing so i'm going to finish my drink off with that so i'm just going to top it off with that okay we are having us a real cocktail today <laughs> but yeah that's my drink and all you need is flavored ice you can do lemon lime or orange like i did you need the summer citrus Ciroc, the sweetened dehydrated oranges from Trader Joe's, and you can use any juice that you want. I use the Ocean Spray Cran Mango. But yeah, here's my drink, y'all. So yummy. Ready to tear into that, okay? Let me do like the little mukbangers do with their little drink. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just finished up making my shrimp and crab mac and cheese. This is what's left over after I fill the little Dutch ovens, but you guys can see how cheesy that is, how yummy that is. You can see those bits of shrimp and the crab in there. It's gonna be so, so good. And of course I use the Alfredo, some garlic and stuff like that in there. But these are the little Dutch ovens. I'm getting ready actually to go ahead and top them with this crumb topping here and this is basically panko parmesan parsley and a little garlic and a little truffle oil that i used in there wanted to have a little bit of truffle flavor so i'm just getting ready to kind of top these off and add that crumble topping so that they can brown and get nice and crusty on top so i'm going to do each one and then i'll show you guys once they're out of the oven and all done they're going to be so bubbly and gooey and good Okay, I just took the shrimp and crab mac and cheeses out of the oven and this is what they look like. Nice and brown and bubbly. As you can see, they kind of bubbled over it a little bit, but that's all right. We're going to eat all of that. They look so bomb. I just made my salad. I'll show you guys my finished plate when I sit down to eat, but um, yeah. Dinner is served. Sunday dinner is always luxurious and delicious around up in here, y'all, because I try to eat healthy during the week, and on the weekends, I treat myself and enjoy myself. So, yeah, nice and rich, nice and gooey, nice and buttery, all the things. All right, y'all, so I'm ready to get into this food. Um, as you know, here is my little shrimp and crab mac and cheese, and, of course, I made a side salad to go with it. I eat salad with almost everything y'all we always have to have a salad or something on the side like some kind of vegetables but i'm trying a new dressing today i love ken's steakhouse dressing i'm trying this garlic parmesan dressing today so hopefully this tastes good on my salad and won't ruin my salad but uh i'm trying that out we're gonna see how that goes on my salad so spreading a little bit and this is just a a caesar salad that i added some extra stuff to <laughs> basically but yeah, I'm going to have that on my salad. And we're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to eat. Um, this is the meal. Time to get into it. All right, y'all. So I am in bed winding down for the evening. I'm still sipping on my little cocktail here. Okay, got my little straw. I don't know what it is, but I have to drink everything through a straw, y'all. It's so weird. But I'm in the bed and I'm reading my book. And I wanted to share the book that I'm reading with you guys before I end the video. It's called We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. Here is the book. This is such a good book. It talks about the mindset of millionaires, particularly women who are millionaires and billionaires. It talks about how to start your financial journey. And like really, it's great for beginners in my opinion. Women who are just finding out about finances and how to get on the right path and so forth. This book is amazing. And it also comes with a workbook that she created. It's called Workbook, We Should All Be Millionaires. She is hilarious. The information in the book is great. But I love the presentation of it. It really is so engaging. It's such an easy read. Normally financial books are snooze worthy for me, but this one, it's amazing, you guys. And sorry if my camera cut off for a second, but this book is so good. So I will link it for you all on Amazon. Anything else that I shared in the video that is linkable, I'll also link for you guys. But yeah, 
pick up this book and read it especially if you're on the journey to like really get yourself ahead financially and i mean build that empire build a legacy for your kids your grandkids read this book the presentation is amazing and the information is just absolutely great y'all get that book but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog with me. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed hanging out with you and taking you along. I know I didn't get to show everything we were doing and all the funny stuff happening. But I really try to be in the moment as well when I'm with my family particularly. But um, I hope you guys just enjoyed hanging out with me for a little weekend vlog. I will definitely be bringing you all more of these types of videos and keeping you up to date on what's going on in my little life. But I love you guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.